brief update on the new uke. I did just change the strings. They had the Aquila. I'm sorry, I mispronounced it again. They had the Aquila uh, Nile Nile gut nylon strings. Um, and uh, I've found through uh, my own experience in playing, I'm not a big fan of nylon. I like monofilament better. Fluorocarbon, whatever you want to call it. But uh, when I got this uke, they sent me a, some spare strings. Uh, these Kala Pearls. And uh, I didn't know anything about them, so I looked them up, and they're unusual for uh, ukulele strings. So I may still go to uh, some kind of fluorocarbon strings on this tenor. But I thought I'd go ahead and... Uh, Put these strings on it and see what I thought of them because they're unusual for ukulele strings. Uh, the blurb on the back says that um, oh, where is it? Anyway, it's got a a nylon core, but it that but they're wound with. I don't know, are they wound with nylon too? Anyway, these are wound strings. Micro wound strings. Micro wound strings. So, if you've ever played a low G, a wound low G, you know, it's got the steel steel wound nylon core. Feels a lot different from all your from your other three strings, which are just nylon. Like when you get a aquila uh, low G strings so you get that squeaky sound on the string like on a guitar string because it's metal so all these strings are wound but they're not wound with metal they're wound with with whatever more nylon or something so this may not be for everyone so far, I don't mind them. They're supposed to require higher tension, so um, you have to make sure your ukulele can handle the tension. Uh, I hope mine can, since it's a Kala, made by the same company that made the string, so uh, should be able to handle it. Uh, another thing. The little blue wrappers on the ends. You cannot cut those off. I don't know if you can see them that well on that end. Because those keep the, the micro winding from unwinding. If you cut them off, your strings will come unwound. So these strings are shorter than most strings because they're designed not to have a whole bunch of stuff that you have to cut off at the end like you do with most other strings. So, um... If you're like an obsessive compulsive type that can't handle those little pieces of string sticking out at the ends, then that's probably another reason to avoid them. They sound pretty good though. I just put them on so. Expect, I expect any set of strings to take a bare minimum of a week to break in and probably two weeks before they really settle in good.
louder. Uh, one thing I did read about them also, because of the them being wound and higher tension, is that you can expect your fingers to get sore again like when you first started playing. Sound pretty good. So that's all. Nothing big in this video. Just uh, ongoing, ongoing experimentation on the ukulele. There's new strings, all wound strings. Hmm. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll just leave these on it. And that's all for now.